today's crony moment. Talk about my five New Year's resolutions, or as I like to call it, goals for 2021. But first, let's get some lunch. <coughs> fabulous friends, Princess Tessie here with another fabulous video. Welcome to my fabulous life where I take you on fabulous adventures of shopping, dining, makeup tutorials, traveling, and so much more. If that sounds like something that you would like to watch, then please consider subscribing now and hit that notification bell to get notifications of when I post other fabulous videos. So today we're going to be talking my five New Year's resolutions or goals for 2021. And we're going to be having a fabulous lunch at El Rio here in Lynette, Alabama. So let's get started. Now on with the show. Princess Tessie here. We're here at El Rio here in Lynette, Alabama, and I got my Diet Coke. Refreshing. So we are waiting for our meal to arrive. I got shrimp on top of rice, and I also got some pico de gallo and sour cream and guacamole to put on top of it. And then my mom got a chicken sandwich and then my husband I got a taco salad with sour cream and guacamole that sounds really good all right fabulous friends so we're going to wait for our meal to arrive so I will see you soon delicious so now we're going to head over to Walmart so I can get my other medication that I didn't get in my other order yesterday and we're gonna go back to the house and then I will do my New Year's resolutions <laughs> fabulous friends so we just got back from the Walmart in Valley Alabama and I got my new medicine so I will be starting that tomorrow but I also picked up something for my upcoming project that you will be seeing in tomorrow's video which is New Year's Eve can you believe it the end of 2020 finally so I got two of these really beautiful natural crates and here's the other one so i'm very excited to share with you tomorrow that so make sure you stay tuned for that i'm super excited now the time has come it's time to share with you my five new year's resolution goals for 2021 Yay. let's get started all right number one healthy living so the first step to healthy living is eating healthy so that means more grilled or baked meat vegetables things along that lines fruits and stay away from all the processed and fried foods and staying away from sweets. You can have sweets, but in moderation and with Christmas and all that, we've just really gotten to a really bad habit with eating. So I wanna get back to eating a more balanced and healthy meal. Next for a healthy living is to do my aerobics 
along the side with my walking. And especially with how weather here is in Alabama, there's times where it's either too cold or rainy. So doing some aerobics indoors will definitely help that. So I wanna definitely get back into walking regularly like I normally do and add aerobics to that. Now I also am going to start doing vitamins. I have a woman's multivitamin and that will help with my immune system and just keep me overall healthy, especially with the coronavirus. You wanna be able to keep good vitamins in you and keep your um, body ultimately healthy so you can fight all the viruses out there. The last part of my healthy living is focus on my goals and mental health. So with mental health, you wanna be able to do stuff that will make you happy, that will release endorphins into your body, that will help keep you happy, healthy, because when you're sad or you are focusing on all the bad, it really goes against your health. So to be able to stay healthy, you need to stay healthy up here and in your body. So the best way to do that is focus on your goals, have a goal, have some dreams, and be able to do that. So New Year's resolution or goal number two is my business. All right, so with my business goal, I want to update my current business and with starting my new one. Now, the current business, I want to be able to update my pricing, my services, and just really focus on fine tuning my current business. And I also want to start fine tuning and start making stuff for my new business that I want to be starting, which is my head headband accessories. So I have a lot of things in the works that I want to be doing. Also, I want to start working on merchandise for Princess Tessa's Fabulous Life. So I have a lot of dreams and a lot of things that I want to be doing. So keep a watch out. <coughs> Lastly, for my business, I want to create and update my YouTube channel. I want to make my YouTube the best it can be. I have so many dreams, so many ideas that I want to do, and I just want to make it fabulous for all of you out there. Right, New Year's resolution number three, and that is take a week's vacation. So what I need to do for this is I need to be able to plan out the trip and what I'm wanting to do and save for it so I'm able to do that because a vacation is definitely something we all need to be able to get away, unwind, restart yourself because if you just work, 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 work and you just sit at home all the time, you're you're gonna get yourself burnt out, you're gonna start getting into your head, and you really need to be able to relax and do something new and be in a new environment because it's just not healthy for you to be staying at home 24 hours a day. And that's not what life's about because there's a big, huge world out there and we need to be able to explore it. All right, New Year's resolution number four is work on a surprise goal and project. So with this New Year's resolution, I unfortunately cannot tell you what this project is. It's something that right now I have to kind of keep hush hush because I'm not certain of the timelines yet or how I'm going to be achieving this particular project or goal but as soon as I know something, you guys will definitely be one of the first ones to know. So I'm super excited for my future. I'm excited for this channel. I'm just totally excited. <coughs> All right, fabulous friends. Number five, clean and organize my things. So the first thing I need to do is go through my things 
and then purge or put them to the side have a pile so I have a pile for things I want to keep things that I want to give to Goodwill and another pile for what I want to sell in a yard sale so once I get everything divided into three groups then I want to of course give what I need to give to the Salvation Army and then be able to set up for a yard sale when it is appropriate to do so and then also be able to organize all of my things from things that I want to keep to my room, my business, and all of that. And it's quite the project, but luckily I only have five things for my New Year's resolution. <laughs> Fabulous friends, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope sharing my New Year's resolutions with all of you out there helped develop your own. I know that I wanted to do five New Year's resolutions that was tangible and something that I know that I can achieve and that's the reason why I also put subjects in each one so then I know if I mark off those that I can reach that particular goal. So I hope all of this helped you be able to do for yours and I can't wait for you guys to see tomorrow's video and I hope all of you dream big live your story and I hope you all have a fabulous day bye y'all thank you for watching fabulous friends I hope you have a sparkly day